Hello, I'm Janet Jennings and I'm Project Coordinator for Making Ways. Making Ways had, uh, came from the City of Makers project, which was a festival that happened in 2016. Um, and it was a legacy project for that. And it was established to raise the profile of Sheffield as a nurturing place for visual arts and to raise talent of um, visual artists working in the city and to get organisations across the city to collaborate and, and work together to support that activity. My name is Rebecca Maddox, I work for Sheffield City Council and I support culture in the city. In particular I work with the Sheffield Culture Consortium and that's a group of the larger cultural institutions in the city and the two universities uh, and a few others who meet monthly and uh, plan strategically for culture in the city and try to get additional resources, particularly through the Arts Council, to fund projects of citywide benefit. We've supported over 420 artists and worked with over 30 arts organisations, either from the city or elsewhere, and that's enabled us to really support every visual art form that there is, from live art through to photography, painting, sculpture, jewellery, ceramics, um, across the board. We've, we've probably done at least 130 different CPD initiatives. So I'm uh, Tony Buckby and I'm an artist based in Sheffield. We are doing a uh, community weaving project in the Winter Gardens. And this is the second Making Ways um, grant that I've been given. So this is a project grant to actually do something public and make an artwork. But the first grant that I got last year was a um, development grant and it was actually to learn how to weave and how to spin. My name is Christopher Jarrett and the first project I did was a project called Trade Roots. So the Making Ways grant had allowed me to create a public artwork that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to create without it. My name is Rowana Wells, I'm an artist here in Sheffield. Um, I've benefited in quite a few ways actually from Making Ways programme which have all helped my work in different ways. I was supported in the Art in the Home exhibition which was a fantastic opportunity to have some of our artwork placed within the home setting. And then I was offered a six week residency programme at Yorkshire Art Space which was fantastic. That really enabled me to try a new project and link with the public in a way that I'd, I'd not tried before. I'm Chloe Brown and the piece of work that I made was a film called A Soft Rebellion in Paradise. The film was a kind of a big public art commission so I was really fortunate to be chosen for it. It's, it's, it's brilliant because it came with quite a hefty amount of funding which was just more than I'd ever received before and that allowed me to be really ambitious with it as a film and really kind of go above and beyond what I normally would make. I'm Kerry, I'm the Public Programmes Curator here at Block. Block, so Making Ways, created space and funded a new position within the gallery. And that meant they could put out a job description for that job and I was living down south at the time in my hometown of Luton. And then I applied because um, I was looking for a new start, I guess. And I got the job, so myself and my partner moved all the way north like two months later and then it started here at Block. So Making Ways funded a pilot public programme. So before uh, it was just an exhibitions and the billboard programme. Um, and Making Ways created space and funded a programme of creative professional development. So they wanted a public programme which supported local professional development. Um, and that could include talks, workshops, events and one-to-ones with visiting artists. Making Ways enabled us to create these spaces for shared learning. It enabled us to, to create generous social opportunities for people to come together, to people to learn, for people to meet new people, and to people to hear about incredible multidisciplinary practices that are happening regionally. So we could invite artists and textile designers and activists and poets to join us at Block and to share their practice with the creative community. I wouldn't be in Sheffield, I guess, if it wasn't for Making Ways and Block wouldn't have, wouldn't have had a public programme.
My name is Yan Fong Ling. I'm an artist, uh, lecturer and researcher based here in Sheffield. Making Ways supported the early stages of a project titled Towards Memorial and it enabled me to do some research on the particulars of an archive based here in Sheffield of a writer, poet, activist, socialist, uh, Edward Carpenter. My other connection to Making Ways funding is through a programme called Fine Art Bridge Scheme or FABS which is aimed at um, recent fine art graduates from Sheffield Hallam University where I um, lecture. My name is Hannah. Uh, Making Ways has supported me through the FAB scheme at Blood Projects. Um, I was there for a year and Dave and Kerry helped me uh, writing funding applications and learning about how to run an art space. I learned a lot of skills about sort of professionally running a space um, as well as sort of networking with a lot of people and it got me confidence as well. WUMP is an artist-led space run by myself and Lucy Lound. Um, to offer studios and uh, residencies for emerging artists. Through the FAB scheme, Dave helped me write our funding application for Making Ways to get some project funding to start off our programme at WAMP. Uh, my name is Frances Hudson. I'm part of the FAB scheme at um, Site Gallery, funded by Making Ways. Working at Site Gallery as part of the FAB scheme has given me access to workshops. Um, all of the people here at Site have been really helpful in my own practice. I've been given opportunities to work as part of the Folk Forest and volunteer. It's just opened a lot of opportunities. Hi, I'm Judith Harry. I'm Executive Director at Site Gallery and soon to become the Chair of Sheffield Culture Consulting. Hosting part of the Fine Art Bursary Scheme at Site Gallery through Making Ways has been really beneficial. We've been able to invest in four young artists who have really been able to input into our participation programme and work with young people at Site Gallery. Overall, I think Making Ways funding has been pretty amazing, actually. Its openness and its inclusivity has allowed people to really um, identify the particulars of their own needs. It feels like it's, it's really elevated a lot of people, an awful lot of people. I just, I think it's given artists in the city uh, a, a lot of opportunities in a very short period of time, which is really exciting, and it allows artists to experiment and develop their practice, which is something which is quite hard to find the time and funding to do. Making Ways has given a great opportunity to try new spaces, meet new people, and experiment with my ideas. I think the thing that um, I've definitely picked up from talking to other artists that have been involved is sort of the networking that's gone on as well so um, because it's enabled you to make your practice um, more open you've been able to make connections and there's a lot of sort of collaborations that are sort of coming up and sort of a lot of potential. Without sounding cliche um, it's changed my life it's changed my partner's life too and we've moved uh, our whole careers north and it's been a privilege and it's been a blessing and I've been initiated into this entire arts community that's adopted me and has been so receptive to all the programmes we're delivering here. Sheffield's a city of makers and I think we need to all be so proud of all the making that goes on in the city, whether that's artists or craftspeople or brewers or musicians or advanced manufacturing. There's, there's so much that this city still makes and its history of making is something that just runs right through everything that happens. It's also something that makes Sheffield distinctive and special. I think it enhances the lives of the creatives who are, who are making things. I think it enhances the lives of all of us as citizens. And it also enhances the reputation of Sheffield as a city. To have a successful city, we want Sheffield to be a great place for people to live and a great place for people to visit and study and um, invest in and build their lives and I think investing in the, the creative spirit of the city is something that underpins all of that. Making Ways is only successful because of all the different artists and arts organisations that have been involved. Um, so people have, have put in some fantastic applications and done amazing artworks and put on exhibitions that have just been so exciting that, you know, it, it's Sheffield coming together to celebrate 
all the activity and it wouldn't have been possible without that. So thank you to the Visual Arts in Sheffield. Through Arts Council England's Ambition for Excellence programme, we've been able to invest in over 400 artists in Sheffield. Sheffield Culture Consortium, the arts organisations and artists involved in delivering the programme are determined to build on this legacy of making ways to ensure that visual arts continue to thrive in Sheffield. <laughs>